Good afternoon everyone. Today we're discussing an exciting study on the fast pyrolysis of cocoa bean shell, conducted by Maria Milagros Vicho, Joan F. Tellez, and E. Laura Moyano from the National University of Córdoba in Argentina. This research explores innovative ways to turn agricultural waste into valuable resources. Introduction. Let's start with why this research matters. As our oil reserves deplete and we face the challenges of global warming, there's an urgent need to replace petrochemical processes with biomass-based alternatives. Biomass, especially waste biomass like cocoa pod husks and bean shells, offers a sustainable solution for producing chemicals. By using pyrolysis on these cocoa waste materials, we can create bio-oil and other useful products, contributing to both sustainable chemical production and effective waste management. Objective. The core objective of this study is to unlock the full potential of cocoa bean shell waste through pyrolysis. The researchers aim to maximize the yield of liquid smoke during the process, identify the key chemical components in the resulting bio-oils, and thoroughly evaluate the properties of these pyrolysates. This research is pivotal in finding new ways to transform agricultural waste into valuable products. Methodology. Now, let's look at how they conducted this study. The team used cocoa bean shells, both untreated and acid-treated, for their experiments. They performed fast pyrolysis in a quartz tube reactor under nitrogen atmosphere at temperatures of 300, 400, and 500 degrees Celsius. The resulting bio-oils were carefully collected, extracted, and analyzed using GCMS. This meticulous process allowed for a comprehensive analysis of the pyrolysis products. Results and discussion, yield. Moving on to the results, this graph shows the yield of different fractions from the pyrolysis process. Interestingly, biochar formation was significant, especially at lower temperatures. The gaseous fraction was predominant, accounting for 47% to 68% of the yield. Bio-oil yields ranged from 8% to 20%, with a slight increase observed when using acid-washed cocoa shells. The maximum bio-oil production was achieved at 500 degrees Celsius for both types of biomass. Results and Discussion Composition The composition of the bio-oils was fascinating. Phenolic compounds were found in small amounts, consistent with previous studies on similar biomass. Nitrogen-containing compounds, particularly caffeine and theobromine, were more prominent in raw cocoa shells. Oxygenated compounds, mainly fatty acids like palmitic acid, were present in all reactions. Notably, the sugar fraction, especially anhydrosigars like levoglucosin, was particularly prominent in the oils derived from acid-treated shells. Results and discussion continued. Continuing with the composition analysis, the researchers found that acid treatment significantly influenced sugar production. Levoglucosin emerged as a key component, representing about 50% of the total area in bio-oil from acid-treated shells at 500 degrees Celsius. This finding opens up exciting possibilities for tailoring the production of specific high-value compounds from cocoa shell waste. Conclusions In conclusion, this study has revealed the significant potential of cocoa shell waste. The researchers found that acid treatment enhanced bio-oil yields, reaching up to 20% at 500 degrees Celsius. They also discovered that untreated shells primarily produced fatty acids, while acid-treated shells yielded bio-oils rich in sugars, particularly levoglucosin. These findings demonstrate that the same biomass can be tailored to produce different high-value compounds based on the treatment applied. This research paves the way for future optimization of extraction methods to better isolate and recover these valuable compounds. Acknowledgements The team would like to acknowledge the support of the National Research Council of Argentina and the Secretary of Science and Technology from the National University of Córdoba for making this important research possible. Their support is crucial in advancing our understanding of sustainable chemical production and waste management.
Thank you for your attention. This research represents a significant step forward in our quest for sustainable alternatives to petrochemical processes.